What if your glasses could talk back to you and show you real-time info right in front of your eyes? Google just dropped its AI-powered smart glasses as part of the new Android XR platform, and they're built for everyday life. With over 4.6 billion people glued to mobile screens daily, this might be the next big leap in how we use tech. What is Android XR and why now? Let's start with Android XR. For years, Android has been the system running phones and tablets, but now Google is turning it into something much bigger. Android XR is a version of Android built for a new type of device, smart glasses and headsets. Why now? Well, technology has finally caught up. There's better AI, better cameras, and more powerful chips. And the secret sauce? Google's new AI system called Gemini. Gemini helps the glasses understand your voice, your surroundings, and even your gestures. It's not just listening, it's thinking. Google says this is the future of computing. No more tapping on screens. You just talk, look, or move, and the glasses respond. Think about it. We've been using phones and screens for over 15 years. Scrolling, swiping, typing, it's everywhere. But screens have limits. So Google wants to move beyond the screen to something more natural, more human. These AI glasses could be that next step. Instead of holding a device, your glasses will show information in your view and respond in real time. They're not just about replacing phones, they're about making tech disappear into your day. Ever wanted directions without pulling out your phone or translating a sign just by looking at it? That's where these glasses come in. Okay, let's talk about how they look. Remember the old Google Glass from years ago? Yeah, that didn't go so well. People thought it looked weird and felt uncomfortable using it in public. This time, Google is keeping things simple. The new AI glasses look more like normal glasses. No bulky hardware, no sci-fi vibe. They've packed everything cameras, speakers, displays, into a slim frame. And yes, they'll work with prescription lenses too. So if you wear glasses already, these could just be your next pair with superpowers. What can the glasses actually do? Google's new AI glasses are built to offer practical, everyday help. One of the standout features is real-time translation. Using the built-in cameras and microphones, the glasses can see text in a different language or hear someone speaking and instantly translate it into your language. This is powered by Google's Gemini AI and builds on their years of work with Translate and Lens. According to Google, the glasses can currently support over 100 languages and the translations appear directly in your field of view. That means users can walk through foreign cities, read signs, or even have conversations without pulling out a phone. It's especially helpful in travel, international business, and even education where live translation can bridge communication gaps. Another major feature is memory and reminders. The glasses are designed to remember what you've seen or heard during the day, like a short-term memory assistant. For example, if you put down your keys or see a product at a store and want to find it later, the glasses can help recall those moments. They do this using what's called a long context window, a new AI feature that keeps track of past conversations and visual inputs for up to 10 minutes. This ability is part of Gemini's advanced memory processing and makes the glasses act more like a personal assistant that doesn't forget things. It's not just about storing data, it's about helping users find what's important when they need it. The glasses also provide contextual help, which means they understand what you're doing and give smart suggestions based on that. For example, if you're looking at a restaurant menu, the AI can check past preferences and offer food recommendations. If you've searched for vegan options before, it will highlight those first. This feature uses machine learning to connect your current actions with your history, like past searches or saved places on Google Maps. It's the same kind of technology that powers smart replies in Gmail or recommended videos on YouTube. But now it's happening in real time, right in your line of sight. Finally, the glasses offer an immersive content experience, starting with YouTube and Google Maps. Users can watch videos in 3D, use spatial audio, and view content in a way that feels more interactive. YouTube on Android XR is being rebuilt to support both flat videos and new immersive formats like VR180. Navigation also becomes hands-free and visual. Instead of checking your phone, 
you'll see arrows and route info appear in the environment as you move. Google says this new way of guiding users could especially help in crowded or unfamiliar areas. These glasses combine visual cues, voice commands, and real-world positioning using GPS and sensors, all aimed at reducing the time spent looking down at a screen. Google's new AI-powered glasses run on Gemini, their most advanced AI which listens, watches, and learns in real time. Thanks to multimodal AI, you can ask natural questions like, how much is this? And get instant answers. No need to say, hey Google, every time. Google partnered with Samsung for sleek, lightweight hardware and Qualcomm to ensure smooth performance and long battery life. It's not just a cool gadget, it's a major collaboration with top tech players. Google is taking privacy seriously with its new AI glasses. To give users more control, the glasses come with a physical shutter switch that turns the camera off completely when not in use. There are also LED lights that turn on whenever sensors like the camera or microphone are active, making it clear to people nearby when the device is recording. The glasses can automatically detect privacy zones, like bathrooms or sensitive areas, and stop recording in those spaces. There's also an incognito mode, which pauses all data collection and ensures nothing is saved. Most importantly, the AI does most of its processing directly on the glasses instead of sending everything to the cloud, which helps keep personal data more secure and private. At the same time, Google knows that the success of these glasses depends on useful apps. That's why they've teamed up with developers from the start. Companies like Niantic, creators of Pokemon Go, are working on new AR games that users can play in the real world using just their glasses. Beyond games, developers are also building apps for healthcare and education, showing how the glasses could help in hospitals or classrooms. Everyday tools like note-taking apps and smart calendars are also being redesigned for the glasses, using voice and gesture controls instead of screens. And because the glasses run on Android XR, most current Android apps can work on them with only a few changes, which helps speed up adoption without waiting for an entirely new app ecosystem to be built. Here's something interesting. Google sees a difference between headsets and glasses. Headsets are big, heavy, and something you wear for gaming, watching movies, or learning something specific. They're for special moments. Glasses, on the other hand, are for all-day use. You wear them like normal glasses, and they help out here and there without taking over your day. That's a big shift in thinking. Google's goal is to make these glasses feel like part of your life not a gadget you need to remember to use. So, when can you get them? Right now, these glasses aren't for sale yet. Google says they'll be ready by 2026, and maybe even earlier for developers and testers. They're starting with a headset called Project Muhan to help developers build apps and test features. But the real target is the glasses. And when they launch, they'll work with all kinds of Android devices, apps, and services. At the end of the day, this announcement isn't just about a new gadget. It's about where technology is going. Google isn't just making new glasses. They're trying to redefine how we use computers. Instead of typing and swiping, the future might be full of speaking, seeing, and feeling like your devices are part of the world around you. And that could change everything, from how we work to how we travel, learn, and connect. So what do you think? Do AI glasses sound exciting, useful, and futuristic? Or are they a little too much? It really depends on how the tech is used and how much control people have over it. But one thing's for sure, this is just the beginning. Google's AI glasses could be the next big step in how we live with technology. And in a few years, people might look back and wonder how we ever lived without them. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.